For this recipe, you will need one box of cinnamon swirl cake mix, two thirds cup of water, one fourth cup of vegetable oil, one large egg, and a nine inch cake pan. To begin, set your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, make sure to thoroughly wash your hands with soap and water in order to prevent any contamination. To start, stir the water, oil, egg, and cake mix together until well blended. It is normal for the batter to appear slightly lumpy. When stirring, it is vital that the batter is only mixed until just blended. If continually mixed and manipulated, more gluten would be formed, resulting in a more dense and chewy cake as compared to a fluffy and light one. More specifically, barely mixing wet and dry ingredients will ensure a low amount of gluten development, leading to a tender cake. After, lightly grease a 9-inch cake pan. Spoon half of the batter into the pan and spread evenly. Next, take half of the cinnamon topping provided in the cake box and spread evenly over the batter. Now you will repeat those last two steps in a similar fashion. Spoon half of the batter into the pan and spread out evenly, ensuring that it reaches the edges of the pan. Spread any remaining cinnamon topping on the rest of the batter. While pouring and mixing the batter, it is important to note that one should not eat the batter. More specifically, the batter contains a raw egg which can be harmful and cause someone to get sick if eaten. If consumed, one risks the chance of salmonella poisoning and the consumption of other harmful bacteria. However, the temperature and cooking of the batter takes away all harmful components of the egg, making it safe to eat. Finally, place the pan in the oven and set a timer for 40 to 45 minutes. In this recipe, multiple methods of heat transfer are present. Convection is the transfer of heat through the currents of air or liquid. While cooking in the oven, this method is being used as the hot air in the oven is circulating, ultimately cooking the batter. Additionally, an aluminum pan was used in this recipe to allow for the conduction of heat to happen. Once the timer is done, cool for approximately 5 to 10 minutes before cutting. Serve and enjoy. Thank you.